It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the Autumn Festival and the Titan skins and all of that on Hero Wars Alliance. Autumn Festival is a three day event and it's got a bunch of other stuff happening right now. I just want to kind of run down the list to make sure that you are not missing anything. Starting off with the event itself. Whoops, here we go. There are eight tasks and a couple of them you can complete again after a complete walkthrough. You can see here you can spend energy again, and this can just, you can just spend energy forever. Complete this one every day, score VIP. Uh, opening outland chests, you can keep doing this one forever. And then of course, the collecting Titanite can be done every single day. So you get these coins, you use the coins, and you buy items, right? Pretty straightforward. Let's go back to this keg right here. Earn harvest coins, that's the task. Here's the shop, there we go. Now, whenever we have uh, an event shop, that has an assortment of items that include Titan artifact chests, I generally recommend to buy those. I generally say that those are the best value. And the reason for it is because there isn't a way to directly purchase for example, Fire Titan Artifacts. You can get them randomly at the Altar of Elements or whatever it's called by opening the, the, the Titan uh, Artifact Spheres, the big money blue balls as I like to call them. But those are random and these are directed. So for example, if I were to buy you know, one of these, I get uh, Fragments for Moloch, Vulcan, Ignis, and Araji, as well as the Fire Crown, you can choose the reward, all right? So you can specifically buy. It is a little bit less efficient than buying them other places, but it's the only place in Hero Wars Alliance that you can buy the artifacts directly. From there, other good choices for things to purchase is going to be uh, the uh, skin stones, regular skin stones. Always a good choice, whether you're a brand new player or a veteran player, everybody needs hero skin stones. And at the end of the event, all of your remaining coins will can be converted to this invigorating drink. Of course, here are the contents, Titan Potions, Summoning Spheres, Fairy Dust for your artifacts, Gold, uh, Light and Darkness Titan Chests, Elemental Sphere, Light and Darkness Artifact Chest, Bottled Energy, and uh, Titan Skin Stones. So let's scroll down here a little bit and show off the, uh, the Titan Artifact Chests as well. So you choose one and you get 25 of those fragments, right? So this is pretty good too. I'm not a huge fan of the lack of some of the rewards that I like to see in here, but that's okay. I think all event chests should have Chaos Cores in them personally, but that's, uh, that's a quality of life suggestion that I made uh, elsewhere. No, we can kind of go on. I am not a huge fan of the fun side of this event. There's really not much fun to it. It's a good event because it's a way to collect a lot of resources for doing tasks that you're going to do every day anyway. There's no event map to fight anything. There's no brawl to design any kind of teams or anything like that. But there did come along with the Autumn Festival the addition of the Primordial Skins for <clears throat> excuse me, Silva, Nova, and Vulcan. You can only purchase these with real money. You can't purchase them with skin stones. And it is worth mentioning that once this event ends, you will not be able to purchase them again. If you go click on Nova in the Titan screen, available during a special event. Now we know from this post a few days ago, at first new skins will only be available for purchase, but in the future you'll be able to get them with the Titan skin stones. We will announce additionally when this will happen. First of all, they're gonna be 10,000 Titan skin stones to purchase, all right? We already know the value of them, but we don't know when. Is it gonna be a month? Is it gonna be three months? Is it gonna be six months? I would say that you probably are okay waiting unless any of these Titans are in your main team. I don't know, I would probably wait, but you know, $13 isn't that much, you know, that's that's really, it's really up to you. And while we're here, I do wanna talk about the refresh of the uh, of the Wendy's shop. This event sale right here uh, has 300 Chaos Cores for $130, 500 artifact keys, 90,000 artifact coins. This seems like an okay bundle. I know that the, the value of these bundles on Wendy's shop are actually lower value than, uh, than you know, just paying for the items in game, but being able to buy a ton of Chaos Cores all at once seems pretty good, F you know, 15 bucks for 20, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me in the comment section down below, are these good deals or not? And then, of course, the Emerald Waterfalls and then the Treasures of the Dominion sections. Uh, they're continually updating Wendy's shop. I'm hoping that they continue to tweak the value and the prices of this so it ends up being better and better values for you and your guildmates because, of course, you don't have to just buy them for yourself. You can buy them for your guilds. Uh, your guild members and other friends as well, as long as you have their account ID, of course. Continuing on down the line, we have the Emerald Doll Sale. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You know, Emerald Dolls are nice. 
um, if you want to spend on that kind of thing. And this right here is one thing that I wanted to point out. Okay, I don't think that we've ever actually had this reward box before. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here is the uh, here's the full blowout thanks to Load Runner of the drop rate percentage of the pairs. I don't remember ever having a reward box with the dungeon coins in them. Uh, the grand prize you can see down here is 10,000 Titan Skin Stones and 2,000 of the. Um, uh, fairy dust you can get dungeon coins in here which is not an easy resource to get access to and of course the main use for dungeon coins is to buy titan skin stones and since a lot of this event is tied into the brand new titan skins you know i i could see people spending a little bit emeralds on uh, on those reward boxes for what it's worth it takes about 166,000 titan skin stones to max a Titan skin. I don't know if that includes the purchase, I don't know if that includes the 10,000 purchase price or or whatever, but a big shout out to uh, to iFixit for sharing that number with me. We have the guild bundle here that you can buy, you know, coins and invigorating drinks for yourself and your guild. And that's uh, that's kind of the gist of the event. You have the holiday bundle, gift to your guild, new skins, mountains of emeralds on purchase, yeah the shop and then earn harvest coins all in all pretty good day for hero wars mobile again there's not a lot of activity you're just going to do your your tasks like you normally would do every day you know logging in spinning emerald spinning energy opening outland chests going to the going to the dungeon doing all of that so it's not like there's a crazy you know uh, strategy involved in today's event just log in play the game just don't forget to log in and play the game uh, there isn't any kind of times for emerald sale right now but there is a times four for tasks down here I uh, wish that blue stacks would stop collapsing this off to the side. I need to figure out why it's why it's doing that, but that's okay. And the last kind of thing I want to talk about is this piece of artwork right here. I did a video yesterday discussing why, you know, it, why, I don't think that it's pets coming to Hero Wars Alliance, but there's a lot of people that have some opinions about who or what this is. Julius, maybe it's Lucas from Master and Lucas. Maybe it's, you know, a new skin for Julius or Astrid and Lucas or something. I, I, I don't know. There's a lot of great opinions. I actually have confirmation uh, of one thing i'm not allowed to share it yet but i i do hope to discuss it by the time uh, our live stream comes around on monday i should have some more information on what this is if the rest of us don't already 12 p.m central time that's 5 p.m utc if you want to see the video where i discuss why this could be a pet and why pets could be added to hero wars mobile check the video on screen now everybody's having a great weekend i love you all good luck in dominion